Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought again I might do another haul. I just feel like I've picked up quite a few products lately and I wanted to let you guys know what's likely to be coming in upcoming videos. So I think I'm just going to kind of go through all the products I've got, kind of see what I think might be good, what might not be good. A lot of them I have actually used in a get ready with me just to kind of create this look. So if that's already up, I'll link that down below. But if not, I'll link it below once it's up. But yeah, so if you want to see what products I've got and how which products I use to create this look, then please keep on watching. And if you like my videos and want to see more, including hauls, then please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, then you'll be notified every time I upload. So the first couple of products I got were from Seventeen, as I noticed they were on sale, so I thought, why not? And I kind of like nipped in and got a couple of things before they sold out. So the first thing is this Miracle Matte Loose Powder. Now, this is supposed to be a powder that kind of helps take away the oil, which is what I wanted for summer, actually, because I get quite oily here and here. So I wanted something that would help just set the cheeks and at least set here to kind of prevent oil coming through in the summer and hopefully make my foundation last a bit longer on my nose and chin because I know that's where I tend to lose it first like with every foundation. I heard a rumour that they were discontinuing 17 products to make way for the CYO products that are exclusively at Boots now so I don't know so you'll have to kind of look on the website see for yourself if these these next products are still available. So one of the next products I got was this concealer it's a 17 skin wow concealer now i did pop it out is it's like a clicker here to see what the color was and it looks like pretty dark for me so you can see and i just oh look how dark that is so look at the color of my skin so the foundation shade i'd likely be going for this is far darker that's not good for like an under eye concealer i suppose if i had like a tan or like if I was wearing a darker foundation, this would be a good spot concealer, perhaps. But I don't know how like the coverage is. It doesn't look too bad, actually, like blended into the hand. It does still look a little bit darker than my skin, but not too much. But then I don't feel like it's got a massive amount of coverage. I have fairly translucent skin, and you can definitely still see my veins through it, which I think kind of shows that the coverage isn't too high so I'm not expecting a great deal from this concealer to be honest. So I thought the next product I would just quickly mention is something that I have actually been using in a few videos recently. It's this little contour pan here, it's the Bleach London Contournuity Contour Pan in Bones 4. Now this, let me just swatch it for you guys, as you can see is very sheer looking it's very buildable so you kind of have to swipe a few times to get a good amount of pigment and I find that it's quite warm in comparison to the makeup geek one I find you have to like go at it a few layers but it's also very blendable it's not patchy and I think that's really good for beginners with contour especially me where I can go very ham and it can end up real muddy real quick you don't have that problem so I thought the next product I would just quickly mention is something that I have actually been using in a few videos recently. It's this little contour pan here. It's the Bleach London Contournuity Contour Pan in Bones 4. Now this, let me just swatch it for you guys, as you can see, is very sheer looking. It's very buildable, so you kind of have to swipe a few times to get a good amount of pigment. And I find that it's quite warm in comparison to the Makeup Geek one. I find you have to like go at it a few layers but it's also very blendable it's not patchy and I think that's really good for beginners with contour especially me where I can go very ham and it can end up real muddy real quick see I just swatched the makeup geek one and it's far more pigmented and if you can see the difference between the shades on my hand one of the makeup geek ones the bottom one it's a lot more ashy this is a lot more sheer and and warm. I'm going to move on to some more face products. Now, the next two products I have are blushes. One of them you will recognise as I've been using it like the Makeup Geek Contour Pan in like the last video or two, I believe. It's the Life's a Peach Blush by L'Oreal. Now, this one, like you must have heard about it. You must have heard about these peach products. 
like I know the packaging is different in America and I know that they have like the eyeshadow palette and things like that now I don't have the eyeshadow palette but this smells of peaches oh it's so nice and it's a really nice pale peachy color which I think is really nice for the summer if you're not into a super pink blush or like super into blushes then I think you would like this one the next one I have is the ever popular Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Now, I do like a couple of shades of this online and I wanted to try it out before I picked up other shades. But honestly, this shade is gorgeous. That is also kind of almost peachy colour like the L'Oreal one. So you can see that's, a, that's the Baked Blush by Milani and this is the L'Oreal one. This is a bit more shiny almost. You can see it's almost like a highlighter, but it's not quite so shiny. It's just more glowy and a little more pink toned, whereas that is definitely more peachy. But they are both really nice. And I'm wearing the Milani one today. And honest to God, I kept staring at myself while I was doing it. Like, I love this blush so far. I mean, we'll see how it lasts, but it's a really nice tone, especially for the summer. And it blended really well, actually, with the contour. So I'm looking forward to trying it again with some other products. The next thing I think I'm going to mention is an eyeshadow palette, actually. Um, the swatch video has definitely already gone up for this one. I just thought I'd mention that I picked it up anyway, so that you guys know if you see this and haven't seen the swatch video, that I'll link it down below. It's the Soph X Revolution eyeshadow palette. It has 24 shades, which you can see on the box at the back. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I've just seen today while I'm filming this that she's launched another eyeshadow palette and some lipsticks. But I haven't seen the video. Didn't want to see it before I bought the palette so that I could review that one as well. But it's so good for her. She's doing so well. More collabs, but with the same brand. So you can tell that she kind of trusts that brand. I am aware that she works with them. But regardless, these shadows are really good. It's what I have on my eyes today. Super blendable. I've really, really enjoyed using them. So next, I'm moving on to this Larsity. La Larsity? No, it's not Larsity. That'd be like a C. Laritzi. Well done, Jess. Can't even read. <laughs> Laritzi Cosmetics Eye Crayon. So I got this actually in... It's called like a pink parcel. It's like a monthly period subscription box thing. They were doing this offer and you could like get the first box for a pound and you got a few products in with it. But this is like the cosmetics one. There was like a hand cream. But I thought I'd show you this pencil. So it is gold coloured as well, which I really like. I haven't tried it yet. So I can't give you guys feedback on what it's like. I wasn't feeling eyeliner today. But it's a nice kind of pencil it's soft and it looks pigmented enough it's quite dark for a gold but I'm not mad about it the thing is though it's a sharpener one and I'm lazy and I know for a fact that it will take a real effort for me to find a sharpener to sharpen this <laughs> so the next pencil I'm moving on to is actually an eyebrow pencil it's the max factor brow shaper in brown deep brown 30 <laughs> So I picked this up because it felt, on like the testers, a bit smoother than some of the others, which I felt were a little bit more draggy. But I can kind of see why now, once I've done my eyebrows. If you watch that whole video, you'll kind of see what I mean. But it's also got like a brow spoolie, and it's nice and dark actually. Like the problem I have is I want something cool toned. And sometimes all you'll get is black. But this is a nice deep brown. It does come across a little bit black. So just be aware when you are swatching for brow products, if you have a nice deep brown, that you're not going like straight black. Because the problem with straight black is I feel I've got a little bit of like slug eyebrows going on just a touch. That's partially due to application and partially due to the colour of the pencil. So this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. So it's like a mas so this is like a mascara for your eyebrows and you can kind of see the colour from the lid. It's dark brown and it's got like a little, not spoolie, yeah. And it's like a little mascara applicator just for your brows. I think it's quite a nice size as well. But I think the problem I would have with this is you just have to be aware not to hold it too close to the skin because then you have so much transfers. It's just about coating them and setting the eyebrow hairs into the place, which I think is rather nice. Especially if you're going somewhere like windy or you have problems where your eyebrows just like naturally like 
go down like here and you want to kind of bring them more up here. I think this is what this is for, but apparently this one has fibres in it, which I filled my eyebrows in too much to see how true that is. But I think on like a natural eyebrow day, I'll give this a go and let you guys know what I think. So moving up. So mascara wise, I also picked up some benefit ones. So there's an offer on at the moment where if you trade in like an old mascara that's like used and dried up, they will give you a sample of one of their mascaras for you to like try out. So I have all three. I have Roller Lash, They're Real and Bad Girl Bang Bang. I'm wearing Roller Lash today and I'm actually liking it. That's a sneak peek from the Get Ready With Me. But I haven't tried the others yet and I'm thinking of doing like a battle of the mascaras, trying them all out, seeing which one I like the best, see how the formula's improved. I am aware that Bad Girl is the most recent one. I don't know which one is supposed to be better out of the other two, but I heard more people raving about Roller Lash, so we'll see. And if you have like an old mascara, then pop down to your local benefit counter and see if you can try one of these. Why not? Why keep a dried out mascara when you can get them one for free just by training it in? It's really good as well because it's recycling the old products, which I think is like a really big deal. I think, especially these days, it's really hard to recycle makeup products and like Origins, they're trying something where you can recycle old products. And that's, in my opinion, a really good reason to support a brand. Next couple of things I wanted to mention were eyeshadow brushes. So this one I've obviously used, I used it in the last video. It's the Morphe R39. Now this is like a tapered like blending brush, you can see. It's quite small and it's not too dense actually. It's nice and fluffy and it fits right in the crease for blending your shadows out like it just fits right in the socket there so you've got a really nice precise application and this was like seven pounds you can get it if you can get it with discount you can get it for cheaper like student discount to six pound thirty but no i'm really enjoying this brush so far and i created this look with just this brush and one maybe two others just to pack some other shadow on the lid it's just so good i'm absolutely in love with it now the next brush, Sam says is similar, but I don't think it looks similar. <laughs> it's the Morphe M433. It's, it's also like a tapered blending brush, to be honest. So let's pop it out of the packet. As you can see, it does kind of look almost similar in shape, but it is a little bit more soft. It's not quite as packed, so you will be able to make this a bit more precise. But I feel like you're going to get like a bit more a bit more blending with this so you're going to get more blending as you place the product and this is definitely going to be for if you want to spread it over a wider area if you want more precise product placement go with the r39 this one is just for like coloring your crease just blending that out i just i feel like this is definitely more dispersed and more for blending than it is for precise colour placement, if you know what I'm saying. So the last few products I've got are liquid lipsticks. So the first one I've got is the Brittany Evans X Rincon collab. Um, I know she came out with like three lipsticks by Rincon and I picked up the shade Fable. I love collabs at the moment. She's an Instagrammer and honest to God, look at this packaging. Like it's square and it just looks so posh and fancy. And that text, it's just that everything looks so posh and fancy. It's what I have on my lips today. So if you want to see how the application is and how it felt on the lips, then go watch my Get Ready With Me video. But honestly, like, look at that. That colour. That colour is me, isn't it, though? It's, oh, it's everything that I would wear. Why do you do such bad swatches, Jess? Why? But honestly, it is a gorgeous colour. So the next lipstick I got is a little bit more high-end. I think I paid like £19 for this one. We won't tell Sam, never happened. So this is the Beauty Bakery Lip Whip in I Liked Chai Chai. So I got this on the recommendation of Tati who said that she could wear this all day and it wouldn't come off. So I was there like, I want that for work. I want something that I can just leave. It doesn't come off all day. So I picked this up. Ooh. Look at this applicator though. I love these type of applicators. They just pick up product and distribute it evenly. And what I like about these is you don't have that like ring around the edge of your lips, you know, when you're trying to get like a 
perfect line you don't have that like excess color that just like sits around the edge of your lips i'm not up for that life look at that one that is a bit more of like a brownie nude i see why sam thought these were similar however it's a different color completely if you look it's a little more like of a chocolatey brown whereas that's more like like a ready brown that looks really pretty that is a far better swatch good job <laughs> so this is the maybelline matte superstay ink i'm honestly so excited for this one i have I have worn it to be honest i'll be straight i've worn it and it wears all day it actually wears all day normally i'm not there like this smells amazing i'm not up for that life however it does smell really good and you don't smell it too heavily to be honest though once it's on the lips and this has this a similar kind of applicator with like the hole in the middle to pick up the product you get such a smooth line i have had comments people asking me oh what lipstick is that and it's a nice like berry colour. I picked up the shade 08 or 80, 80, 80 ruler. And honestly, this just lasts all day. And it is a proper matte. It doesn't look like it's going to go on matte at first. But if you look at that, it is super matte once it dries down. The colour is fantastic and it lasts all day. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or dry or any of that kind of rubbish it's just it's just fantastic it lasts all day and looks so good on i absolutely love it i would wholeheartedly recommend that superstay one to you can't tell you about the others just yet but that superstay lipstick i would buy all of the shades and if i had the bank account to do so i would already have all of the shades anyway i think that's the end of the haul i'm so glad that we finished on such a positive note but yeah, so if you like these videos, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please press that subscribe button down below. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching.